Glory, sponsored by Wade Incorporated and Southern Housing. Today is day two of our football preview series, Grind of Glory. We're hitting up 15 schools in the Northeast Mississippi area. And we are now 31 days from opening night for high school football. And every season has new challenges for each team. But for this squad, the challenges will be coming from more than just football. It's time to take a look at the Amory Panthers for today's edition of Grind of Glory. A lot of things have had to change for the Black and Gold Panthers this upcoming season. Because of the tornadoes that came through this past spring, they have had to move to the middle school to hold their practices. They will be playing all of their home games at Tupelo High School. Even with all these changes, that hasn't put a damper on the energy among the team. Our kids compete. You know, Amy's always had a swagger about them. Um, and, uh, you know, just proud of their effort. Uh, they give really good effort and, uh, you know, they don't, they don't quit. So, uh, can't say enough about our coaching staff, the way they coach and our players will allow themselves to be coached. The team lost 15 starters this offseason, so there will be a ton of new faces in the starting lineup. But returning two-time All-State linebacker Nathaniel Walker and offensive lineman Walker Thompson still have one main thing on the brain, getting better each week to chase a state title. This year I'm just I'm more comfortable. I know what I'm doing. Uh, I, I feel like I can help around. We got a couple of new guys on the line. I just feel like I'm more of a, I feel like I'm in a better space now to really contribute to the team. The biggest improvement I see is playing better as a player myself and as a team, working together, trying our hardest to just make it all the way to the top and win a state championship at the end of the year. Dan Pierre has been the head coach. The Panthers have won two district titles and were knocking on the door of a state championship appearance last season. This season, they will be chasing that title in a different classification as they have now moved to 4A. We will continue this series tomorrow with taking a look at last year's 6A champion, the Starkville Yellow Jackets.